up until two months ago, no one had ever actually seen a black hole, which is weird because everyone has heard of a black hole before. But do you know what a black hole is? Vsauce, Michael here. Oh, wait, that's not me. But to answer that question, a black hole is a space object that is so dense and has such strong gravity that nothing can escape it, not even light. There are three types of black holes, primordial, stellar, and supermassive. Primordial black holes are the smallest and are believed to have formed just moments after the Big Bang. Bang! Supermassive black holes are ginormous. ginormous. There is one of these at the center of every galaxy, including our own, the Milky Way. Ah, home sweet home. The last and most common black hole is the stellar black hole. This comes from a space object collapsing in on itself, like a star. Something that is important for you to understand is how stars themselves work. At the center of all stars, there is a phenomenon called nuclear fusion that occurs over and over again. This is where two atoms of the same kind are smashed together to create one new atom. Fusion takes incredible amounts of force to occur, so as a result, super powerful energy is released, and this is what powers the star. At the end of this star's life, fusion slows enough that the gravity is able to overpower the core and press inward on the entire star. There is a certain point where if this star keeps shrinking, it will eventually turn into a black hole. This point is called the Schwarzschild radius, which is the point at which any object with mass, if it's shrunk down to this size, it can become a black hole. We can figure out any object's Schwarzschild radius by using the equation 2 times gravity times the mass of this object all over the speed of light squared. Although it can't happen naturally, almost any object that has mass could be pressed down enough that it would turn into a black hole. Let's use this equation to see how far we'd have to shrink Earth down for it to become a black hole. So we use the equation 2 times gravity times Earth's mass all over the speed of light squared. We then find that Earth would have to shrink down to the size of this nickel for it to turn into a black hole. Let's try this again, but with me. I'm about 75 kilograms, so if we put that into the equation, we can figure that I would have to be shrunk down to 158 million times smaller than a single proton. Wow. And you may be wondering, why can't light escape a black hole? Well, this is because of something called the escape velocity. This is the speed that you have to be going to escape a space object. For Earth, it's about 11 kilometers a second, but for a black hole, it's faster than the speed of light. And that's why it was so hard for us to see a black hole until now, because we needed to know a whole lot more than just where to look.